I'm Dorian Lambert. I associate my pup name as Pup Triumph. Mm -hmm. um, is that Triumph as in the motorcycle or Triumph as something else? Uh, motorcycle. Yeah. You're, you're, you're into motorcycles? Or? No, I was actually given the name by my handler. Um, he gave it to me because I've overcome a lot of stuff in my life. Came from a family who's very, like, not really open to the gay world. Mm -hmm. So when I came out, they didn't really like that. Mm -hmm. And I overcame drug addicted father and mother, so. Yeah. <laughs> so their, their lack of support is hardly a loss to you. Yeah. Uh, losing family was kind of a big step of overcoming a lot of that. Mm. So I've triumphed a lot of stuff. It sounds like it. So have you, how long have you been involved in the pop scene? Um, since about, um, about a year. Okay. Going into about a year. How did you discover the pop, pop scene? Um, I've kind of no I was a pup for a lot of my life. I would always jump around. I'm always crazy for squeaky toys. Mm -hmm. Like even in stores, I hear it. Um, when I was, I went through a straight phase most of my life and I would always lick people mm -hmm. and girls really didn't like that. So, so please don't say you went gay, just so you could <laughs> lick people. <laughs> no. <laughs> or lick penises. That's a, that's a true that's an excuse. Um, Okay, so you've kind of already known your pup, but what's the what was the step? How did you go from knowing to becoming connected to the community? Um, coming into the community, I actually kind of like jumped into it really fast. I met, I actually met my handler online um, when I was living down in Southern Ohio, and we would talk over the internet. He had me read up on um, bark, um, woof those books and I actually started watching and looking at your all site that you had at the time and I actually started going through the lists and oh wow looking at it more so your all site kind of brought me more and more closer into it okay and that was that was the serious pop website yeah oh wow yeah okay well thank you for stopping by <laughs> it was like really helpful for a lot of things that I couldn't really get from the book yeah so the site actually helped a lot Fantastic. Oh, but, you know, it was designed to, as a tool for our pack, and if other people have found it useful, then that's really freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, so what do you get out of pup play? Why, why, what, what interests you? I like it because I work a kind of a serious job where they do medical and engineering stuff, military stuff, and I can escape from it mm -hmm. and just relax. It's like my therapy. Yep. I go into a headspace. I have no problem in the world. Yeah, yeah. So what's what's because a lot of people talk about headspace and it means different things to different people. <laughs> what does the headspace consist of for you? It's when I put the when I put the hood on, it helps me get into headspace more. So I all put the hood on and I just instantly snap into it. <laughs> I walk on all fours. I wolf bark. Um, I even came to the conclusion where. My boyfriend, he sleeps in the bedroom. I sleep in the living room because he has sleep apnea. Uh -huh. And his snoring keeps me up at night. Yeah. So I actually have my own little doggy bed in the living room. Mm -hmm. So, and that helps me. So you've got your own kettle and, yeah. and space. <laughs> yeah. And that's an important thing is that, and you can connect the being a pup to a, play, a room in the house. Yeah. And, and that's kind of cool. Um, have you had any challenges with pup play or being a pup? Yes. What challenges have you had? I went. I actually went to a mall. I'm uh -huh. not going to say which mall, but it's in Ohio and it's one of the very popular malls. Yeah. I was walking in public with my hood on, uh -huh. and they started yelling at me about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wasn't t attacking anybody, touching anybody, minding my own business. Yeah. And the security told me I had to leave. Okay. So I was like, it didn't make sense. Was it only security that was causing you problems? Or yeah. were there other people as well? Security. People loved it. People were looking and kind of like ooing and aahing. And yep. Yeah. But I've told my friends and family about it and a bunch of my uh, old co-workers, they loved it. Yeah. They wanted to know everything about it. Yeah, yeah. And um, most of the, most of my family, they're okay with it. Okay. They don't really care. They don't ask me any questions. And 
so it sounds like your, your family's come a long way. Yeah. If they weren't accepting of you being gay, but they're kind of all right with you being a pup, that sounds like a, a fairly large jump. Yeah, like my stepmom, she's my ex-stepmom, and she's been my mother figure since I was born. Like, mm-hmm. woman has been by my side forever. Um, she was the first one I really came out to. Yeah. And I told her about the pup stuff, and she was like, she enjoy, like she enjoys it. Like she teases me about it, but not in a bad way. Um, she actually gave us. She's actually trying to get us a fire hydrant cookie jar because we have a doggy cookie jar. Um, but she sends me like doggy Christmas cards and birthday cards and all those. So she's very accepting. Mm-hmm. Um, have you had any challenges? Because you're a bigger bloke. Mm-hmm. Have you had any problems or challenges in pup play? As a bigger pup? Um, my back and my knees. Okay. They're big problems. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially for bigger guys with back problems. I have a narrowing of my spine and bulge discs, so. What limits does that place on your play? Um, kind of like jumping around really fast and just rolling and stuff like that. But like walking around, I can do it. It's just sometimes I gotta take a break and stretch. Does pup play cause you pain after you've done it? Hmm. No. Okay. Okay. What about gear-wise? Have you had any challenges getting gear, or are you a crafty person? Well, I've actually made like started doing our own bandanas and stuff that we have. Um, I actually made about eight of them this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, but finding gear harnesses are hard to find because finding bigger harnesses, they're not really kept in most stores. Hmm. Um, yeah. If you could think of three things that human pup play gives you, what would you say they are? Relaxation, mind escaping, and the ability to get in touch with the inside, like deeper inside of my body, the pup side, the inner animal, um, the side that not many people get to see okay. on a day-to-day basis. Why don't people get to see that? What? Well, work and <laughs> yep. I don't think my apartment complex would like me running around in a pup hood barking at people. <laughs> uh, that, that, is good, that is a very good point. Some people, if they're anxious, they find that wearing a hood and having a role as a pup gives them less anxiety oh yeah that allows yeah. them to practice stuff have yeah. you noticed anything like that um i feel in public if i wear my hood because i actually wore my hood for the first time in public and actually got away with it nobody said anything people were looking they were liking it um i'm kind of shy when i first meet somebody i'm very shy um but putting on the pup hood i can actually just go up to people talk with people and they love it if you were to say, you know, as a younger pup or somebody who's starting out in pup play, what recommendations would you give to them? If you're starting out in pup play, the best thing to do is to read up on it. Um, find communities or people online that you can talk with and help experience, uh, express yourself through it. Um, being able to start small. When I started out in pup play, I started out with um, just a squeaky toy and talking with people online. And there's actually a picture that I love to death. It's the first picture with me and a a squeaky football. And that's what brought me in further into pup play. To start small and build up the progress. Go a little bit deeper into it. invest into a pup hood if you can afford it because I know they make cheap ones I know they make more expensive ones um, the pup hood is the very bright side of actually being a pup you can actually escape everything where do you see pup play heading in the say the next five years I actually see pup play growing a lot um, I see more and more people getting into it there's actually, um, I actually talked to another pup who, he actually just got into pup play and he was nervous about it. He kind of wanted to back out 
and I told him, yeah, you can talk to me, we can walk, work through this, and now he loves it. He, send, he used to send me videos of him barking and just playing with toys and stuff. Sounds pretty cool. So I can see it growing rapidly in the next five years. Cool. So if anybody wants to contact you, what would be the easiest way for them to do that? Um, Facebook, uh, Dorian Lambert or Dean Ryder. Instagram is Dean underscore pup underscore Ryder, I think for a second. Or um, email. Um, D D D E Bear B A R fourteen at yahoo.com. I reply to any of those. Fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.